Zone 2 is known as the fat burning zone, but you've probably also heard that high intensity zone 5 workouts are more time efficient for fat loss, and that's thanks to their much higher calorie burn per minute. Add in the afterburn effect, and zone 5 keeps burning fat long after your workout ends. So, which training zone actually burns more fat? Zone 2 or Zone 5? Today, we're stepping into the fighting ring with real signs to crown the true fat burning champion for runners over 40. In round 1, we're measuring each fighter's immediate fat burning punch per minute. Zone 2 versus Zone 5. All data in this matchup is sourced from a comprehensive narrative review by Dr. Rebecca Randall, compiling findings from 20 peer review studies. The link to the review is in the description. For this narrative review, Zone 2 was defined as around 65% of VO2 max, translating practically to around 75% of your maximum heart rate. For middle-aged runners, that's roughly 125 to 135 beats per minute. At this steady moderate pace, your body burns approximately 10 total calories per minute. Impressively, about 50% comes directly from fat. That percentage of fat oxidation means that you're burning about 5 calories of pure fat per minute. Why such a high percentage? Well, at a moderate intensity, your body thrives in an aerobic state, using oxygen efficiently and tapping significantly into fat reserves for fuel. Defined as exceeding 90% of VO2 max, Zone 5 pushes you near maximum effort, around 95% of your maximum heart rate. And that's approximately 160 to 170 beats per minute for middle-aged runners. Calorie burn soars dramatically, reaching 15 calories per minute, a whooping 50% higher than Zone 2. But here's a critical twist. Only about 10% of those calories come from fat. That's 1.5 calories of pure fat oxidation. At these high intensities, your body is in an anaerobic state with low oxygen availability. So it shifts to relying heavily on glycogen stores and significantly decreasing fat oxidation percentages. By burning 5 calories versus only 1.5 calories of pure fat per minute, Zone 2 delivers a decisive blow, burning 3 times more fat per minute compared to Zone 5. Despite Zone 5's higher total calorie burn, when it comes down to pure fat burning per minute, Zone 2 claims a resounding victory. But don't tune out yet, the match is far from over, as Zone 5 will definitely be back with a vengeance in the coming rounds. Round 2 is all about the famous afterburn, officially known as Excess Post-Exercise Oxygen Consumption, or EPOC. This is the elevated metabolism you experience after your workout, where you continue burning calories as you relax. Let's see how many extra fat calories each zone keeps burning after you've stepped out of the ring. Zone 2 steps back into the ring with a 30-minute run at approximately 75% of maximum heart rate. Following this workout, research indicates that your body burns about 30 extra calories in the hour afterward before metabolism returns to baseline. Impressively, about 80% or 24 calories come directly from fat. It's still a post-workout boost, although somewhat modest. Now zone 5 isn't backing down, employing the intense 4x4 four four minute intervals at 95% of maximum heart rate, known as VO2 max intervals or the Norwegian 4x4 four four method. Now zone 5 is throwing heavy punches. This method takes about 32 minutes, closely matching the duration of the zone 2 session, but the afterburn effect here is significantly more potent. After this intense bout, your body burns around 110 extra calories in the recovery period. An impressive 88% of these calories, or about 97 calories, come directly from fat. This substantial afterburn reflects powerful physiological recovery processes, such as glycogen replenishment, muscle repair, and metabolic recalibration, keeping your metabolism elevated for a good 2 to 3 hours. I'm the winner, yes. Zone 5 delivers a knockout punch in round 2, with over 4 times the fat burning effect during the crucial afterburn window. Its high intensity strategy clearly pays off dominating this round, but the final outcome is yet to be decided. Stay tuned as we head into the next round to test weekly endurance and total fat burning capability. So far, we've seen fierce competition, Zone 2 dominating per minute fat burn in round 1 and Zone 5 landing a massive blow with its impressive afterburn in round 2. But now, in round 3, it's all about weekly fat burn potential. How much fat can each zone realistically help you burn across an entire week? Let's ring the bell and find out. 
First up, zone 2 burns about 5 calories of fat per minute. For a typical runner aged 40 to 65, a realistic weekly average would be about 3 to 4 hours of zone 2 training. Let's crunch those numbers. At 5 calories of fat per minute, each hour of zone 2 training burns roughly 300 calories from pure fat. Over 3 to 4 hours weekly, this totals 900 to 1200 fat calories burned from the workout alone. This impressive volume of training and high sustainability makes zone 2 a relentless fighter, racking up substantial points in the fat loss category. Now the typical high intensity zone 5 workout for runners is 4 by 4 minute intervals at around 95% of maximum heart rate. That totals 16 intense minutes per session. During these 16 intense minutes, you're burning approximately 1.5 calories of fat per minute. That means each session itself directly burns about 24 fat calories. Now that may sound pretty insignificant, but remember, zone 5's power lies in its incredible afterburn effect. As we saw in round 2, the afterburn or epoch from one zone 5 session adds roughly 97 extra calories purely from fat. Combine that with the 24 calories burned during the session itself and one full zone 5 session nets around 121 fat calories. But realistically, because of its high intensity, most runners over 40 will only manage one or at most two zone 5 sessions weekly. Even two sessions totaling 32 minutes of high intensity work would yield only around 242 fat calories burned weekly. Pretty impressive for short sessions, but still modest compared to Zone 2's cumulative total. And the, winner is... the decision is unanimous when it comes to sustainable weekly fat burn potential. Zone 2 is simply unbeatable, with the capability to comfortably accumulate 900 to 1200 fat calories weekly. Zone 2 clearly dominates this endurance round, while Zone 5's afterburn effect is powerful and highly beneficial. Its limited duration and recovery demands prevent it from catching Zone 2's impressive volume. After 3 intense rounds, you might think that Zone 2 is a clear winner, making Zone 5 look totally unnecessary. But wait, what if Zone 2 and Zone 5 teamed up in a doubles match? Instead of fighting, could their combined power unlock a fat burning effect where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts? The answer is a resounding yes. Zone 5 serves as a metabolic supercharger for your Zone 2 training, creating a championship level synergy for fat burning. High intensity Zone 5 intervals dramatically enhance mitochondrial function by boosting enzymes like fat CD36, which plays a crucial role in transporting fat into the only place in your body where fat can actually be burned, and that's your mitochondria. These sessions also rapidly deplete glycogen stores, prompting your body to rely more heavily on fat during subsequent Zone 2 workouts. This shift further amplifies your overall fat burning capacity. Now research shows that combining these effects can increase your fat oxidation rates at zone 2 intensities by an impressive 25 to 30% after just 6 to 8 weeks of including zone 5 intervals into your routine. And the best part, you only need about 15 minutes of zone 5 training per week to unlock these metabolic benefits. That means, instead of burning 5 calories of fat per minute during your zone 2 runs, you could be burning closer to 6.5. Sounds like something you want, right? Well, here's how to structure your weekly training to make that happen. Science strongly supports a 80-20 training approach to maximize fat burning and enhance overall performance, particularly for runners aged 40 to 65. This strategic balance involves spending 80 to 90% of your training time in zone 2. This moderate intensity fosters mitochondrial density, it builds robust aerobic capacity and establishes sustainable fat oxidation pathways, all while keeping physical stress manageable and reducing injury risk. Meanwhile, dedicating 10-20% to of your weekly training to high intensities significantly boosts mitochondrial function, improves your VO2 max and amplifies the beneficial epoch effect for additional fat burning after workouts. Furthermore, these intense sessions optimize glycogen cycling, allowing your body to rely more effectively on fat during subsequent low intensity training sessions. And research consistently demonstrates that masters athletes who adopt this hybrid training model experience an impressive increase in fat oxidation compared to those who exclusively train in zone two. This makes the 80-20 approach not only effective but the ultimate winning strategy for peak metabolic efficiency and improved running performance. Ready to implement this powerful training strategy but need a structured 20 week training plan? Well, then download my free beginner's marathon training plan based on the 80 20 training approach. Even if you're not aiming to run a marathon, this training plan will help you establish a consistent running routine, build endurance, 
improve aerobic fitness, and most importantly, burn a lot of fat in the process. Plus, it's specifically designed for runners over 40, gradually increasing weekly mileage to support safe and sustainable progress. The link is in the description below. One important caveat, you need to get your sleep quality dialed in. Without it, you're leaving serious fat burning gains on the table, no matter how perfectly you train. Sleep is when your body restores metabolic function and regulates fat burning hormones. Even one poor night can lower fat oxidation and shift your body towards burning more carbs instead. In short, if fat loss is your goal, sleep is non-negotiable. One of the simplest and most effective tools I found for improving sleep quality and fat burning is wearing blue light blockers before bed. They naturally boost melatonin levels by filtering out stimulating blue light and helping you sleep deeper and recover better. I use a pair from a company called Block Blue Light. They're top tier quality yet some of the best priced blue light blockers on the market plus fast global shipping. Use the link in the description to get your 10% discount on their entire catalog. For maximum weekly fat loss, zone 2 should make up the bulk of your training. But to truly unlock peak results, incorporating 10-20% to of high intensity work in the zone 4 to zone 5 range is essential. This combination supercharges your metabolic adaptations, it boosts your performance and it helps you avoid the plateau that often comes with zone 2 training alone. Now think of zone 2 as your efficient, reliable engine and zone 5 as a supercharger. Together, they're an unbeatable duel. That's it. Make sure you're not making these six common mistakes that can seriously blunt your fat burning progress. Watch this video next to learn how to avoid them. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.